We're down here at the pits at America's Home Track, Eagle Raceway. And while we're touring through the pits, we happen upon someone who's actually on a very special year this year. He is the driver of the number 40 in your Friesen Performance IMCA Modifieds, Sean the Shark Harker. And uh, Sean, welcome back to Eagle. Ah, oh, thank you. Glad to be here. Glad you guys are here. So, very special year for you this year. What's going on? Um, we're just celebrating our 25th year of racing for our team, you know, uh, me and my dad, and, and now my sons are involved, so it's it's pretty special for us. Going into the fact that your sons are now involved, the next generation's coming up, how special is that for you, knowing you've been in it so long, and now you get to share that love with the family? Oh, it's very special. I mean, we're a very family-oriented race team, so... Um, biggest part of my enjoyment is I mean I love driving the cars don't get me wrong but as I get a, to work with them on it and my dad and, and he's still very active so and then getting to see my son starting to drive and hopefully the next year or so my other son will be, be behind the wheel of something. You made the move to A mods I believe it was last year or the year before how has that transition been from the Frieza Performance Sport Mod? Oh it's it's very difficult. Um, it's a big learning curve. I mean, don't get me wrong, the sport mods is a very, very tough class as well. But um, just, you know, being in the sport mods for so long and coming to the A mods and just and just learning. I mean, we race against some very good drivers here in the Midwest, everywhere you go, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas. So, uh, yeah, it's a tough learning curve. We didn't get a – I didn't get a race as much as I wanted to last year to, to help, you know, curve that learning curve. But, you know, we're going to try to do this year, and uh, hopefully we get everything going well. Speaking of 2022, kind of take us through your 2022 season. Um, a lot of ups and downs. We lost a motor right away uh, to an issue that you know was out of nobody's control. But you know, uh, we had some good runs here at Eagle. You know, we ran second a few times. Should have won one uh, coming out of four. You know, carburetor issue to take to checkered. You know, cost us. But uh, up and down season overall, I would rate it. It was it was pretty decent. And you're talking about you're wanting to race more in 2023. What are the initial plans looking like for 2023? Uh, actually, we really don't have any plans. I really enjoyed, you know, traveling. I mean, I didn't like the COVID year 2020 because it did hinder the racing a lot. But we got to go to a lot of places because nobody really had a set schedule on what they were going to race. So, you know, we did a lot of just going here and there. So hopefully, hopefully we do something similar to that. One of your first times out for this car this year. Are, do you have any goals for tonight, or are you just looking to make laps? Um, I hope to make the show. You know, I don't know how many cars are going to be here. You know, make show, and then um, if you know if we could put her in the top five, that would be that would be a pretty big goal. What is the difference between in the, in the car between running topless and running with a roof? Uh, we practiced last night. I guess I didn't really notice too much other than uh, the sun. You know, the sun coming into the car a little bit different and. But other than that, I mean, I, I guess I really didn't notice a whole lot. I heard some people say, oh, I can't believe the difference, but I, I really didn't notice a lot. So to kind of wrap this up, I have a two-part question for you. In your 25-year racing career, first off, what has been your biggest accomplishment, do you feel? Um, we've had a lot of it. You know, in 2004, we won the IMCA portion of the Cornhusker Classic in a late model when, you know, we're kind of my very first rookie season ever in a late model. We won that big race, and then... Um, you know, 2016, we swept the weekend out in Las Vegas at the Duel in the Desert. You know, we won our qualifier on Thursday night and won the, the main. But, you know, we got eight track championships, you know, throughout and lots of wins. You know, 100 career wins, over 100 career wins is a big deal for us. So, I mean, we've had, we've had a very good 25-year run. On the flip side of that coin, what do you feel has been your biggest regret in 25 years of racing? Um... Honestly, probably the time that I have to put towards the racing over the years that I, you know, every racer knows the time it takes to try to be very as successful as you can. And I missed a, a lot of stuff. You know, I try to, I still go to all my kids' stuff. I do that. But over 25 years, I missed a lot of stuff that other people take for granted and go do that, that we as racers don't. Well, in your Freezing Performance IMCA Modifieds, you know, if you're going to beat the shark, you're going to need a bigger boat. This is Sean Harker.